Hey guys, how you doing? It's Kelly. This is going to be a very quick vlog and at the end of this vlog I'm going to add my doodle girl or glamour girl or I always forget the name that Veronica over at Pattinson Fan and I will put her link down below where she has a video of um, not only the mixed media girl that we just did um, and uh, hers came out awesome um, also a video where she shows how she draws her doodle girl. So, and I know she's, she was having a contest. I think it's still going on until the 15th. I'm not absolutely positive, but, um, I will put the links to those two videos. And then, um, if she's, ha if you feel so inclined, you can make a video or, um, I think she wants you to make a video or maybe you can ask if you can do a drawing if you don't have video on your um, computer, you know, if you don't do uh, videos and maybe do a drawing of it and then tag her in a picture uh, with your picture um, and maybe she can put a like a, a thing together on YouTube of people's pictures and so she can show. Um, but I'm going to be doing that next. I'm going to add this to the, add my doodle girl to the end because I'm going to do it and then put it in, um, kind of a faster motion. So you don't have to listen to me talk for an hour while I draw it. Cause I'm going to try to be a little bit better than I did on the last one that I did live and talk through. Um, so that's going on. Um, secondly, I want to thank everybody for your wonderful comments on my, um, video yesterday, uh, of me kind of going a little psychotic and cursing and being very upset with the woman who made that comment. Um, I really try to, um, <laughs> who the hell am I kidding? Um, there was a time in my life a few years ago, especially after my son passed, that I was a wild maniac, that you just had to look at me sideways. And that meant even on the web, if you said a word to me, if you were rude to me, ignorant to me, started with me, whatever, I would tear you apart publicly. I would name you. I would blast you. I even restrained myself yesterday from using language that I use every single day. I try not to do that on my videos. Once in a while, yes, I do. I do um, curse if I make a mistake and I do curse um, in my normal life very... <laughs> as they call like a trucker. Um, my daughter hates it. Um, it's just in my blood. I try not to do, um, so during my videos, um, if I can help it because, um, my girlfriend and I, um, my girlfriend Pixie and I years ago, um, were doing live shows and we had a blast. And, um, I think I told the story before, but one of her neighbors wanted to see one of the videos that we had done a live show on and it was on origami or something. And she showed, like she sent the lady the link for the replay and the lady, her daughter wanted to see it. And like the first five, 10 minutes into it, it was so harsh with our language and not, and we did it on link too. So, I mean, you can read the, what everybody, I mean, we had a ball, we were adults and we never thought to say this is for adults only. And after that, we kind of, um, we had a little argument <laughs> <laughs> her and I, a little disagreements. However, she did, I did, you know, apologize to her and understood where she was coming from as she has two small young boys. And, um, both of my kids were raised with me, um, with a foul, horrible mouth. I was raised that way. Also, um, I'm Italian. It's just not that that's an excuse or a reason or all Italians are like that. However, um, you know, my husband doesn't curse that much. My daughter does not curse. And, uh, yesterday when I read the, um, woman's, uh, comment and I thought to myself, you know, if she put her name out in public to make the statement, then I'm going to blast her because it's not for me. My feelings weren't hurt. Um, I, my feelings weren't hurt at all. What makes me angry is that if she does that to me, that means she does that to other people. And there are other people out there who are nervous to get on camera and nervous to put themselves out there with their art. 
Um, if they feel that their art, art isn't up to par, which look, be proud of what you do, no matter what you do. Um, I've always stated, you know, as far as my clay goes and even my drawings and everything now, my hands are getting so bad that I'm not as good as I was five years ago. I don't do this channel to be um, looked at as a wonderful artist. I do it to teach newbies my way. Um, I do it to teach and help uh, people who are disabled, who have chronic illnesses. Um, you know, and for people, whoever, whoever to watch and maybe look at it and say, you know, I didn't understand so-and-so's, but the way she breaks it down, I understand it. So I do it to help all kinds of people. Um, and I don't like people being negative. I don't leave negative comments on other people's um, YouTubes. I don't do thumbs down on people's YouTubes, no matter how much I might not like them. I believe everybody takes time out of their day. Um, and if you make your, if you do make videos, you know, what goes into them, you know, it's time consuming, especially if you're able to edit, which I'm not, um, uh, or I would have, I don't know, <laughs> my videos would be much more professional. Um, I'm, I'm almost, I'm getting there. I'm, I'm learning, but, um, so I don't think people understand what goes into it. And then when I looked and she has no videos, no subs, no nothing, I thought, and I've gotten a lot of crap from polymer clay people about my stuff, uh, about my polymer clay stuff. And my thing is this, I teach the basics on everything I do, whether it's drawing, whether it's my mixed media. And as you can see, as other people do the mixed media along with me, everybody has their own way of doing it. Everybody's looks different than mine, or if it looks similar to mine, they, they do their own thing and they're learning. And that's what I love. So whether you do it exactly how I do it, or you do it your own way, the point is I give you the basics and you go with it. And, and when you finish it, whether it looks like mine or not like mine, the point is you finished it. And that makes me so proud. And you guys inspire me so much. All of you, all of you, all of you, all of you, as much as you say, I inspire you because you guys keep me going. And, um, so I'm very thankful that because I said to my husband after I made the video and put it up, I said, I'm probably going to lose a lot of subs. I'm probably going to get a lot of crap for this, but I am tired of people going around and judging other people for, and believe me, I get messages all the time from people um, saying, you know, asking if I'm mentally retarded if, I mean, you know what I mean? Because I talk a lot. I do. I talk a lot. Somebody even posted on that same post um, with the clay that the lady left the comment that, yeah, yeah, I teach well, but all the extra talking and all the stuff that I do is unnecessary. So she wouldn't watch my beginner videos. And that's her opinion. And that's fine. But she didn't call me stupid or, you know, tell me it, she wasn't being necessarily rude just for her, my talking, she doesn't like. Now, when I do sped up videos, which I usually, you know, I would do a lot of before, I would get email after email after email with people saying, we love listening to you talk. We love watching you do this. And I think some of the things that I do, I like to talk through because I like to say to you, look, you can do it this way or that way. And I can kind of talk and encourage you and give you ideas as well. Um, if you guys would rather me just do my videos and, and, and put music to it and have them go, let me know down in the comments. I would be glad to do that. I mean, I don't, I don't mind either way. I want what makes you guys want to watch me, you know, and whatever that is, I still sometimes don't know <laughs> why you guys leave me the most awesome comments and, um, leave me emails and messages, but I was highly, highly happy and, and surprised at the messages and comments that you guys left me. Um, they made me feel so good because it was like you were in my head at that minute and you understood. And I don't think anybody should be disrespected. And I have a, um, <laughs> Linda Chilcott, who is, um, like kind of like my mom, <laughs> um, friend of mine. And she wrote me and she said, okay, I think you made your point when you cursed the first time she hates when I curse. Um, but, uh, you know, she kind of keeps me in balance, so to say, but, um, that's why I put the warning on there. So in case your kids are in the room or your grandkids or whatever, and you know, that's not, that's not necessarily who I want to be, but I was so angry yesterday and I was angry for all of us. I did that for all of us to stand up for all of us that if you want to make a video with your cell phone or your 
or your uh, camera or whatever, do it. Don't let these negative, nasty people, because in, in all honesty and what I believe is people like that have their own issues. It's not me. It's not you. It's their own issues. And if she would have taken time to see my video, watch my video and see other videos, she would see that I have many, many chronic illnesses. My hands don't work. And I do this for beginners so they can learn. And I do this for people who are disabled and chronic illnesses who sit and say, I want to do clay. Well, you know what? Do clay. It might take you two days longer, an hour longer. You know, it might take you way longer than it takes me. But guess what? People who work during the week, like Carolyn and that kind of thing, some people only have Sundays to do these things and they do them on Sundays. So it was just for all of us just to stand up and say, you know what? Lay off. Just leave us alone. If you don't like it, hit the next button. Find a different video. So if I did offend anybody with my language, I do apologize. But I'm sorry. That is who part of who I am. Um, as a rule, I don't do that because, you know, if you want your kids to to watch and learn and how to do fun things, um on certain videos, I don't want to sit and curse through that if, if that's not what they're used to. Um, but I had to do that yesterday. And thank you so much for all of you who wrote me such supportive um, comments and all. And I, I was so surprised because I thought I was going to have such a backlash and I didn't. And you guys just, uh, just made me feel so much better. Just made me feel so much better. Like, you know, and like I said, I did it for all of us because I'm tired of people putting us down or, you know, and it's everybody on YouTube. It's not just me or you. I mean, it's so many people. If, if you don't like something, why? Uh, okay. I'm not going to go into it again. However, um, I want to tell you this one thing. Um, okay. Two quick questions I'm going to answer because I have them up here and, um, or two, two, two things I want to tell you, uh, tilted asylum. I'm going to say Tamara, Dozer, Dozier, she wrote me and said, don't know if you have a dishwasher or what you may use in it, but my daughter uses the great value little package soap squares, and they come in a really nice square plastic tub that has a snap on lid. They are great for storage. I use them for fabrics and yarns. And as soon as I get more of them, I'm sure I'll find more stuff or I mean, to, you know, to stuff to store, uh, store in them. Another thing I use are those blue plastic tube Lay's chips come in. Hmm. I cut them in two pieces, leave the lid on and it becomes the top for the bottom. Wait a minute. I cut them into two pieces, leave the lid on and it becomes a bottom for the top half. I use those for pens, pencils, brushes, and sculpting tools. That is awesome. And now, okay, I see what she says. So she cuts them into half. So then the bottom part has the bottom on it. And she uses that for to put her pencils and whatnot in. And then leaves the lid on, turns it upside down. And that gives you another thing. That's great. Plus, I love me some, I love me some Pringles, actually. But I never saw the lace. And then she asked me if I do ACEOs, which are artist uh, trading cards. Um, I believe those are the ones that uh, are sold. And I do. I love doing ATC cards and I love doing, um, I've, I'm not sold. I've done trades. I've, I have a big, humongous um, photo album of all the uh, ATC cards I've um, done like swaps and trades. And actually, I don't know if you're familiar with Lisa Fulmer, but when she does her videos, if you go back on her videos, <laughs> she's probably going to kill me, but, uh, which you should watch her videos anyway, because I absolutely love her and wish she was my sister and that we live next door and that we could have dinner together every Sunday, but that's a whole other thing. Um, she has one of my, um, a my ATCs that I made of snow, um, of heat miser and, um, Oh, the blue guy who is, ah, oh, Mr. Keith Miser, ah, oh, Mr. Mr. Snow. Who's the snow guy? I can't remember. Heat Miser and the snow guy. Damn. I'll have to post a picture sometime of it that I took before I sent it to her. But she has it on her ATC wall. And when she does videos and talks, you can see it back there. And I get so excited and I always say, I can send my ATC card. But, um, yeah, so I love doing them. And I love, 
I love doing small art. And um, actually, I was going to uh, see if um, in the new year, I think now is a little rough to uh, exchange and change things. But um, in the new year, maybe we can do some ATC exchanges or something like that. If anybody's interested, interested let me know. Um, so those that is uh, some great tips from Tilted Asylum, Tamara, my little girl. Now, the other thing was, um, Taylor asked me about the um, snowflake ornaments that were made out of paper. Now, I am going to do a demo on that. I don't know if Arthritis and Me is watching this. If you are, leave a comment down um, of how you made it, if you could, or what... what uh, company you got them from or whatever and because uh, I love them but I'm going to show you the way I do them and all I do is I have an old blender and you can get that at the thrift store and I throw in all old papers and and fibers and um, let me see if I can la, 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 la. Like the, like I got, I got these from when I was in the hospital and I use them for paint and glitter, but you can see like all kinds of stuff on them and they're kind of rough, but you soak them for a while. But I use papers and, and, you know, thin, uh, scrapbook paper and toilet paper and I mean, all kinds of stuff. And I use it in my blender and I soak it for a little bit in the water in the blender. Um, sometimes I'll add a little bit of flour, just a little bit to make it a little bit thicker. Sometimes I won't. And then I blend it all up and then I strain it. I do have a paper maker here with the screen and the whole thing, but I don't normally use that. Um, I just do it my own way. And I kind of squeeze it out like you have frozen spinach and then I form it to whatever way I want. I make journal pages. Uh, you can put them in any kind of molds that you have, molds that you use for polymer clay, molds that you use for anything. I mean, go to the dollar store. You can find a million different molds there um, in the baking aisle. You know, you can um, stick uh, things in it to make texture in them for your uh paintings or art journals or whatever. So I am going to do a um, demo on that um, soon to show you how to do that. I just haven't um, had the chance. So I got a, quite a few fun things coming up and um, I hope you guys are uh, excited. So I think that's enough of me talking. You know what? I'm going to leave this like this and do my do to grow on another video because this is quite longer than I than I anticipated. Um, I can't remember if I showed you this or not. This is one of the clear resin pieces that I did out of the lion. Can you see that? Look how cool and clear and all the texture in there. I can't remember if I showed you or not. I found it because my cat was playing with it on the floor because I couldn't find it when I was showing you. <laughs> She's like, this is a great toy. But it, I mean, like the detail in there is absolutely delicious. And once painted, I might just do a coat on the back. I mean, look how clear as glass that is on the back. I might just paint the back. I think that would look like really cool 3D. I haven't quite decided. Maybe a metallic gold would look cool. So um, that's that. So I want to, uh, again, thank you guys. It is snowing so bad here today. And I want to thank you guys so much. And I'm going to do my doodle girl, but I'm still going to do it in fast, you know, um, thing with some music. And got some fun stuff coming up. So again, um, I have an experimental thing coming up, um, with some mod melts and some different ways to, um, use those and try. I have, um, a bunch of fun stuff coming up. So that's, uh, that's about it. So I hope you all have a great day. Please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody's fighting. Kind of lost it yesterday. And, um, I don't feel regretful. I just, you know, I just feel bad for that person. And she really made me angry because, you know, I don't know if she, from what I was told, she also suffers from chronic illnesses. So I find that hard to believe if she was that rude and ignorant, but you know, like I always say, if you want to take uh, polymer clay classes and learn professionally and, and, and learn better than I can show you, then by all means do. There's polymer clay productions you can go to and they have classes you can buy. Um, I do this for free for y'all who cannot um, 
pay for classes and to show you that, you know what, yeah, we're disabled, but we're beginners and, you know, it's okay. So I hope you all have a great day and I will see you in the next video. And I'm going to put um, Veronica's links down below. Oh, last thing I want to tell you is, you know, I love Blitzy. I love Blitzy, love Blitzy, love Blitzy. However, and I cannot remember her name right now. Damn. I thought I could. Poop. Okay. Anyway, it's called scrapbooking dash, like sideways dash, warehouse.com. Um, they ship to Canada too. And she wrote me and said that they're a little bit more expensive than Blitzy. However, they have great deals and all that kind of thing. And I can't remember who sent this to me. So, um, they have a lot of fun stuff there too. So if Blitz, you know, you can check out Blitzy and you can check out there, especially if you can't leave the house and you want to buy yourself something like, uh, some golden or some dilutions or some stencils or whatever. And they have things called hot buys where like once a day you can, um, like it says retail $19.99 and their price is $10.88. So there's a lot of things that you can look on there too and um, buy. So I'll put that link down below too, as well as the Blitzy link again, because I really, really, truly love Blitzy. They deliver fast. They, um, I've, I've bought so much stuff from them and, um, I love them. And now I bookmark the scrapbooking warehouse because, um, I'm going to see what their prices are like and what they have there. And now that they ship to Canada, that helps a lot, um, for people, but they have adhesives, die cutting, embellishments, markers and pen, organizer, paints, paper crafts, albums and scrapbooks, rubber stamps, stencils and templates, sticker, stickers and rub-ons, books, tools, and, um, other things, art supplies. So, um, I'll put that down below too. So you can check out both places. You never know, you know, you might find something, um, that you've been looking for there at a very inexpensive price. And if you can't get out and use your coupon at a store, these are two places that you can check out and like, I've not bought from here yet. So I don't know what they're shipping and what they're like here. Um, once I do, I will let you know. Um, like I said, I can only speak for Blitzy because the, I buy their I, they should have my name on top of their Blitzy slash Kelly because I buy so much there because their prices and I've compared their prices um, from my stores and they are wicked, wicked good, but they sell out a lot. They do sell out a lot of their stuff when they put them up. So um, this scrapbooking uh, warehouse might be a great place to uh, also check out. So I love you guys. You guys are the best. You guys are so supportive. And if I could, if I could, I'm sending virtual hugs and loves and kisses and thank yous and just such gratitude to you guys because you guys are just freaking awesome. And thank you for being so supportive. I just, I'm so blessed. So blessed you guys. Thank you for all the messages. Thank you for all the comments. Thank you for all the emails. Thank you. Oh gosh, when I wake up, I'm so thrilled with all, all this stuff and I'm trying to get back to y'all. So have a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.